ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Watch Addiction Watch Reviews. Today we have an interesting watch in front of us. This is from Feast, and this one is actually from Amazon. It's about $250. As you can see, it's one of their Bauhaus style watches. Uh, it looks like a chronograph, but it's not actually a chronograph, um, which is one of the downsides of the watch. But other than that, it's a really nice watch. And I think, you know, for the, va for the money, uh, you're getting a pretty decent value. Um, the quality is definitely very good and such, and let's take a look at the packaging and then uh, we'll jump right into it, guys. Now, your Feast original watch will come in this packaging, as you can see here, and inside you do get, I believe, uh, just a pillow and a little warranty card. Cardboard box, nothing too special. Um, you know, for a $250 watch, I think it's definitely okay. Now, this watch definitely does resemble a lot of popular Bauhaus-style watches from Germany. You might have realized that by now, um, but it's pretty well made. You know, for the price, $250, I think you're getting a decent watch for your money. It's a solid 316L stainless steel case, you can see here. Kind of like a pie pan case uh, with long lugs, as you can see, which come downwards. It has a domed crystal as well, which, which is actually really nice. It's actually mineral crystal. Um, so it's not sapphire, you're getting mineral on this one. It's a 41 millimeter case, so it's not too big. In terms of case thickness, only 12.5 top to bottom, 20 between the lugs. Um, so, you know, it's pretty, you know, decently sized for, you know, a modern watch enthusiast, I would say. And uh, the quality is definitely there. I mean, the finishing is pretty decent, I must say. Uh, nice polished sides, as you can see. Get that nice domed crystal. Uh, really high polished on the top of the lugs, the smooth bezel as well. You do have the two pushers on each side, which are kind of oval shaped, and you get a pull and push crown, 30 meters of water resistance. Uh, the crown is pull and push, so you know definitely don't take it in the water. And it is signed there with the Feast logo. Now, getting to the dial, you get this nice white dial uh, with black printed Bauhaus numerals, and um, the Feast logo over at the nine o'clock position, slight loom pips as well at the 12, at the nine, three, and yeah, just going 12, three, six, nine, basically. And loom on the hands as well. Um, so you definitely can see a little bit at night. As you can see, that is the smooth sweeping seconds hand. We do get a 12 hour subdial at the 12 o'clock. And then we do get a 24 hour subdial down at the six o'clock. We get nice cutouts for the day and the date, pretty deep in there, as you can see. Which doesn't look too bad. And just overall, very, very legible. The crystal definitely does a nice job of blinding the light. As you can see there, uh, pretty easy to use. It's running an automatic movement, so it's not really a chronograph. So you can see this top button would normally start a chronograph, but this actually changes the 12 hour subdial. And the bottom one does nothing. And then we get self winding in the first position, pull out one position, and click set the day of the week, all in English and then the date as well. There is hacking on this movement, which is always good to see, so you can see the time precisely. Let's go ahead and set this. Pretty decent crown function. Definitely feels of very high quality, I must say, or the crown action, everything like that. Push it back down and you're good to go. The self wind is actually pretty satisfying and smooth, I must say. So no issue there whatsoever. It comes on this nice uh, kind of embossed uh, black genuine leather band on a butterfly clasp here which is self-adjustable, does have a little hole here, and the logo is there on the buckle, signed Feast. Um, so yeah, a little glimpse of the case back. As you can see, there is quick release on here. Case back is, oh, little fingerprints there. Um, I believe this is some type of seagull movement. Um, I believe it is running at four hertz. Um, this is the FM121 model, as you can see. Case back is screwed in, one, two, three, four screws and highly polished. Movement, nothing spectacular to look at, um, but some people do like to see, you know, the inner workings of the watch. Um, but yeah, other than that, it's a pretty simple watch. It's a good everyday watch, I must say. Definitely can be dressed up, you know, if you're looking for something to wear with a suit, to wear casual. Uh, I wouldn't say it's sporty. I would say it's a bit more casual and, uh, you know, light dress work kind of stuff. Um, but other than that, the band's actually pretty comfortable. It comes on. I don't see any need to really change it out. It is black. And there also is a bracelet version of this watch on Amazon that they do sell. I will drop a link to them in the description below so you can check them out after the video, of course. But other than that, it's keeping great time. It's legible. It's easy to wear. goes with a lot of clothing. Um, I think it's a pretty decent watch. Like I said, the only one negative would probably be the non-chronograph functioning with a chronograph setup. Um, but yeah, other than that, I think it's a pretty decent watch. 
Um, I'm going to, maybe I'll do a little loom shot. You know, it's a kind of a dressy watch. There's not tons of loom. It's not a dive watch, but there is loom on the hour and the minutes hand, uh, which are, which are pencil shaped as you can see there. Um, yeah, just very, very nice, clean dial, easy to read. Um, anyway, let's take a look at the loom. Why not guys? And there is a little loom shot for you guys. There is some C3 Super Luminova on the actual hands and that double pip at the 12, three, six and nine. It's definitely enough to read the time at night. You can get a, definitely get a good reference there of the 12369 little uh, plots there. I wouldn't say it's like super crazy, you know? It's a, you know, kind of chronograph style watch. Planted on my 6.5 inch wrist, I must say it does wear very comfortable. The strap really hugs the wrist nicely straight out of the box there. Um, very easy to read. Wears pretty flat on the wrist, I must say. It doesn't wear too big from a side profile as you can see there. Um, so yeah, definitely comfortable. Definitely can slip under a cuff if you wanted it to. Um, but yeah, definitely not too heavy, not too light. Definitely do feel it on the wrist. Like I uh, said earlier, it's very easy to read. Uh, you just look at it and you already know the time, uh, which is a good thing. Then you get the 12 hour reference over there at the 12 o'clock position, and then your 24 hour subdial at the six o'clock position for a quick reference. Um, but yeah, definitely very legible, comfortable on the wrist. There's no issues with the actual wear. But uh, yeah, anyway guys, um, I think it's a pretty decent quality watch. The case cut and finish is very good. Um, there are no quality control issues, which I found on the watch, nothing like that. Um, a lot of people do like this design, you know, if you're going to pay for something like this from another German brand and made in Germany watch, you're probably going to spend like 1200 bucks on, you know, probably upwards of that. Um, but yeah, uh, for the money, I think it's definitely worth it. Uh, but let me know what you guys think down in the comment section below as usual. This is Watch Fiction Watch Views. And, um, yeah, definitely subscribe to the channel, guys. Like the video. Let me know what you guys think of this watch. Do you own any Feast watches? They do have a lot of watches on Amazon. And I believe they have watches on their website as well. We'll drop a link to them. Definitely like the video. Let me know what you think. And we'll chat a little more below, guys. Thank you so much for tuning in and being a part of the Watch Addiction family. Bye.